Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome into the channel. It's December 27th, 2022, after Christmas. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and I wish you the best Happy New Year 2023 next weekend. Uh, yeah, so here at the storage unit, uh, actually all three of my storage units, I wanted to do a vlog maybe for people who are new here or people that have been watching me, kind of like a day in my life. I'm going to vlog this day. I'm here on Tuesday morning, since we didn't ship yesterday, the post office was closed. So I'm pulling orders. Our first storage unit is all active. Every one of these bins that you see that are numbered are all active. So when stuff sells, I just come to the right numbered bin and then I find the right numbered item and we pull it. So that's kind of the start of our day. I come, I pull all this inventory that needs to ship out, um, either out of this unit, a little bit of trash I gotta clean up. Yeah, it happens. Second one, all that's listed. And then all of this is unlisted inventory. As we get it up, as we get it listed either through list perfectly or manually, I gotta get a few more shelves. So I'll have this wall shelved up and it'll look just like this wall and it'll look just like the other unit. In the back, we have some boxes of inventory that need to be listed. And then in the very, very back is just my trash and empty pallets from pallets that I bought. And that stuff, I'm actually gonna get my truck and clear all that out in the next week or so so that I can move all this unlisted inventory out of the middle of the walkway, put it in the back corner, and we'll be all set. We'll have two identical units that are all organized uh, by the end of January, all listed. We'll just come in here and pick our sold items and we're done. My third unit, which is my original unit, I've had this one the longest. I've had those two about six months. I've had this one about a year and a half to two years. This is all my bulk inventory that's unlisted. <laughs> it's kind of the... The mess but it's remotes it's clothing there's some plush there's all kinds of random stuff in here we're gonna spend january going through this one pallet at a time clearing out the trash getting the good stuff building bulk boxes to sell pulling out some individual items to sell and just clearing this one pallet at a time um there's one two three four there's five on each side so there's like 10 pallets worth of stuff here maybe nine if you got half pallets but yeah we just want to get this cleared out if we can do a pallet to two pallets a week we should be able to get it cleared out in a month I wanna empty this whole unit by the end of January, February worst case, and just get rid of this unit. So I pay $350 for that unit. Now this unit is actually a combined unit. Um, so that one's 250 square feet, it's 25 by 10. These are 25 by 10, so these are 500 total. They gave me a deal. Since I'm paying 350 for 250 square feet, this would have been 700, right? But they gave me a deal where I got this one for 550. So total I'm paying is 900 for all three. So broken apart, it's about 300 each. But if I can clear this one out and get rid of it and only need these two, that'll cut 350 off the bill and I'll only be paying 550 a month, which would be great. I would love that. These also come with $5,000 insurance per unit. So five, five, and five. So I have $15,000 worth of insurance in the event that anything happens. I am not on the bottom floor in case it floods in Florida. I'm good to go. This is temperature controlled, full air controlled, very clean uh, facility. Never had an issue with dirt, bugs, climate control, nothing. This unit is amazing. So that's what I have here in Florida. And that's kind of our morning. I pull the items that need to be shipped. And then I'll usually come down to this unit and I'll pull us a bin or two bins of inventory for us to take home and work on. That way my house doesn't get overwhelmed and everything's here clean, neat, organized. For the most part, it will be. And uh, we keep our house from getting cluttered. Now there is inventory in my garage. Those of you that see my videos, you know there is inventory there. However, I'm working on getting that cleared out as well. So I'll show you that when we get back to the house in just a minute. Let's head that way right now. All right, so I'm getting ready to pull out of the storage unit. I'm in Kate's car. Normally I'm in my car, uh, but I had to bring some boxes and carry some stuff so it made more sense to have the SUV. So it's about a two and a half mile drive back to my house. So it's very, very close. It just takes a few minutes to get here, get the stuff and get back. So very convenient. Uh, people that are worried about driving and traffic and stuff. I like to work at home. I like to stay at home. And uh, so this is very convenient. Let's get back to the house. All right, now that I've got all the stuff back, Kate will pack it all up. We'll get it ready for shipping um, this afternoon, of course. And then all the inventory, like I said, that I had to clear out of my garage. This is what I'm working on. I'll get rid of this death pile um, along with that other stuff in the storage unit. We'll get this cleared out in the next month or two. We'll be all set. We've got hats, we've got clothes, we've got jeans, Levi's and Calvin Klein's and all that sort of stuff. And then we do have inventory that ships out of the garage every day. So that wall right there, that's all listed inventory, so we can pull from that, and that'll be there, that will always be there. But this whole pile, this will all be cleared out of here. This will all be gone. I have some more overhead storage going for my personal stuff, so then our garage will be um, will be cleared out of that stuff, and then it'll just be um, 
my car. And right now we have the golf cart in there. Uh, we'll probably be able to park the golf cart over there at that point and put Kate's car uh, SUV next to mine. So that's kind of the plan, which we talked about a um, month or two ago. And I said after Christmas, after the holidays, I would take care of that stuff. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. So that's kind of how our day goes with getting the items, getting it here, getting it listed, and then having the items that we're working on actively. And once they're listed, they can either go here or if they go in the bins at the storage unit on my next trip, I'll take them back with me to the storage unit and put them in the correct bins uh, where they go. And that's how we store our items. That's how we list our items. That's kind of our process right now. Now I'm gonna take you inside and show you exactly the two different methods we use of listing, our normal listing and our list perfectly listing. But that gives me a perfect opportunity to tell you guys that I am currently offering, and we have already processed thousands of listings in just one week, a listing service. If you need somebody to complete your eBay listings, you provide the photos and we do the rest except prices. You'll put in your own price. We'll do the whole draft for you. I can get you guys the prices. I can get you the format. I can get you the process. Just email me, uh, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. With that said, the prices are going to be $1.50 per listing and they'll go down the more listings you buy, like $1.40, $1.30, $1.20 as you buy more quantity. Between now and January 1st, if you want any, we're locking in listings. They're like credits that never expire for $1.20 each. So if you're interested in that, again, you provide the photos, we make the drafts, you put in your price and finish them. It's a very simple UC process. We've already done thousands of listings since last week. It's going fantastic. Titles, descriptions, item specifics, all that sort of stuff. Rockstarflipperedemo.com. I'll send you the rest of the details, the rest of the pricing, and you'll be all set. Let's go inside and take a look at how we do our listing. Okay, so this is my computer screen with List Perfectly that I use to do listings on eBay. So if you come over to List Perfectly, you can see all the items I have in my catalog, and I can basically just select these and copy them from platform to platform or insert them into my eBay um, directly onto my eBay page. So List Perfectly, best cross listing, highly recommended. I'll put a link in the description box. But that's how quickly I sit at my computer and just sit here and do copy and pasting on the uh, list perfectly to eBay or other platforms that I'm selling on. Now, any items that we don't have in list perfectly that are uh, new that need to be listed, like for example, over there, we have a pile of items. Kate will sit and photograph them on the top of that table. It's usually cleared off. And then we create white backgrounds in photo room. And then she can, uh, we airdrop all of our photos from iPhones onto her MacBook and then they're all here and she can create listings brand new or put them in a list perfectly. And that's our whole listing process. What we bring into that garage, she'll bring 10 or 15 or 20 items up, do them in batches, highly recommend it. You won't get overwhelmed and uh, you'll be able to finish stuff pretty quick and you can sit here and get done 50 items in a day without breaking a sweat. And that's the next step. And then once I'm done all of our listing and I've processed what I feel like is a good amount of listings for the day, I will come back and start filming YouTube videos for all of you guys and girls. All right, so then we have to take our packages to the post office and UPS for my wholesale boxes. So for example, today um, I have one wholesale box going out 100 pieces and then I have packages. The problem is in this newer neighborhood, they don't have a pickup route yet. And our mailboxes are the bundle mailboxes. All the mailboxes are in one spot and we go up there. So they're not on par with pickups, which we used to have at the old house. That sucks. So until they get this taken care of, I have to take all the packages up there. Thankfully, it's actually before the storage unit. So it's only like a mile and three quarters, two miles. It's a little closer than a storage unit actually. And that makes it easy to just run up there and drop it off five minutes up, five minutes back. So it is kind of a part of my day that's tedious and annoying, but until they get the pickup straightened out, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, so taking the uh, packages, always a fun time. And uh, yeah, it did get cold actually here in Florida. I took my car to take the packages because I didn't have all that many. Um, it got to be in the 20s on like Christmas Eve, Friday, Saturday, Sunday through the holiday. Uh, today's Tuesday and just like Florida as usual, it is out of its mind. It is a high of 70 today after being in the 20s just two and three days ago. So if you don't live in Florida uh, or you just moved here or you just come here on vacation during these times, the weather gets crazy and people get sick really, really, really easy because it's just so up and down insanity. Now, I've been here coming up on 18 years. Um, pretty soon in a couple months and I'm used to it. Nothing bothers me. I wear t-shirts almost every day and jeans. Um, I wear shorts to places like my lagoon or, or stuff like that, but t-shirt and jeans pretty much every day for me. If I'm not going out, if I'm going out, it's like a Robert Graham or a button down, but I'm just used to this weather. A lot of you guys aren't, if you don't live here, you just come here, uh, occasionally. So bundle up, be prepared. Lots of people sick this week, 
um, that are, you know, new Florida implants from up north or people that uh, were here for vacation over the Christmas holiday and they just get sick because of the temperatures. They can't deal with it. If you saw my social media, we were out at bonfires out back of our neighbor's yards just hanging out in 20 degree weather. So, uh, yeah, that's our shipping. That's the, the end of the day there for that. And we'll go home, show you the listings and uh, how we do that and then how I handle the rest of my business, including social media and my new listing service. All right, so anybody that's new here, I actually live in a neighborhood, that's my neighborhood there, it reaches all the way around, but on the way home from shipping, I usually like to stop once in a while at a lagoon. I live in a man-made lagoon neighborhood. I'll show you guys inside in just a second. Grab a beer, an old-fashioned, just a midday drink at two, three o'clock. Gets me uh, ready for the rest of the day. All right, so it's gonna get monetized, but yeah, so this is where I live. This is in my backyard, basically. My backyard. So if you watch this channel, you're subscribed, you know most of my videos come out around six, seven, eight o'clock. And so what I do after I'm done listing, after I've done all that shipping and all that stuff in the afternoon out there, is I come into my office. A lot of you are familiar with my office. And I can sit down and record videos. Obviously I have the green screen, the lights, make the content I make for you guys. Sometimes I record downstairs, sometimes I record up here in the office. Just depends on where uh, I'm filming or what the video is about or et cetera. And I get all that content up. I'll sit here at my computer. Um, I can turn on the big screen. That way I can multitask. I can edit the videos. I can put up your content. I can answer your emails, finish doing listings, sending offers, all that sort of stuff. This is kind of how I finish up my day uh, until dinner's ready. Once dinner's done, I'll usually come back up here and finish a little bit more work. And then the end of our night by, you know, eight o'clock, I like to try, if I can possibly, to be... Um, to be out here which is our um upstairs bonus tv type room and then i can sit and enjoy you know just some downtime but usually i still have my computer and i'm still working but uh that's pretty much how my day goes and uh typical day of my life and uh i'll stay up working until 11 12 you know whatever and then go to bed and generally sit on my computer watching shows for another hour or so until the night wraps up so what's your day look like leave it in the comment section i'd love to hear about how your everyday schedule goes but that's a look at my day for those of you that are new here or never seen it or don't watch or sub to the channel if you could please hit the like button subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos enjoy this one and i'll see everyone next time